So here we have several different substances. We have steel, which is iron and about 1% carbon. We have red iron oxide, Fe2O3. Then we have black iron oxide, Fe3O4. It's the red iron oxide that we consider to be rust. So the question is whether rust is magnetic or not. So what we'll do is we'll take each of these powders here, we have a little pile of them, and we're going to move a magnet underneath the table here and see which ones respond to a magnetic field. We'll start with the atomized steel, and you can see that it responds pretty quickly to a magnet. We can pull it around on the paper, make it stand up and follow those magnetic force lines. And if we roll the magnet underneath, you can see how it kind of walks across the screen. We can also take then and look at the Fe2O3, what we are calling rust, and actually nothing happens. It doesn't react with the magnet. And then finally, the Fe3O4, that reacts as well. We can see it stand up. We can see it move around and walk there. But moving the magnet doesn't really pull it with the paper. So it's actually a little bit less magnetic than the atomized steel, but much more magnetic than the iron oxide, the Fe2O3. Going back to our Fe2O3, if we actually take a magnet and drop it right into the pile of Fe2O3, we'll see that there is somewhat of an attraction. So there's a very weak magnetic attraction for Fe2O3, what we call rust, to a magnet. So to answer the question, yes, Fe2O3 is magnetic, but only weakly compared to iron or Fe3O4. Thanks for watching.